Hello guys, I am Sean, and this is a Minecraft Let's Play thingy. A Minecraft Let's Play footage. Let me turn down the uh, viewing distance a bit so it can actually run. <laughs> um, so yeah, I normally keep it on short. Um, but I'm just going to show you the sculptures that I've been making. Okay, there's one. Um, two of them are unfinished. Like this one. This one is Gliger. I believe that's his name. Gliger, Gliger. Um, I'm making Pokemon sculptures. That's the very bottom right there. And um, over here, I made Ryolu. Uh, I did the best I could, but sadly, they don't have the right shade of gray that I need for the face and the lighting effects on his ears. And right here is Chimchar. Yes, he looks very nice and. I, I, he's my favorite Pokemon. I, I like it. Um, basically what I use is wolves, woods, and sand. And then over here, there should be a Cyndaquil right here. Good gosh, popped up out of nowhere. Look at him. He's so cute. He's so, so fluffy and whatever. And now over here is an unfinished one also. This one is... Deoxys so far um, So basically what you do is um You get You get your screen with a at a good um You know like at a, at a, at a good half and then you have the Pokemon right here Look and you look at it and then um, I have like this giant sprite sheet. Hold up, wait, it has to unzoom. See, look, look at this. And what you do is you have to zoom in enough, and then you'll find a uh, Pokemon that you want to do. Like um, see that one's Deoxys. Now this one's kind of messed up because the head, yeah. Um, like Deoxys right here. Um, I am. You have to have it zoomed in perfectly. And then, as you can see, there's little individual blocks. And that's the color that you need to fill in. Um, this is going good so far. I kind of stopped around here around the waist because I messed up. And I'm trying to learn how to fix it. But right now, I just don't have the um, motivation to do it right now. And hopefully, this goes well. Sadly, though, there's not like a million shades of red. So I can't really do this. So I had to do orange. I don't know. I guess it kind of looks good. Um, here is an example of one that's finished, um, as soon as his nose pops up, and, um, gotta find him on this, uh, Shindaquil, gotta find him, this poor alligator, okay, there he is, zoom in. Alright, so yeah, there is an idea. Um, I used sand for his body, gray wool for the lines, black wool for the entire outline, um, orange wool, yellow wool, white wool, red wool, and sand and um, birch wood planks, and then black wool for that area. These normally take me around two hours to make in all. So all in all, I spent about eight hours because this one took me about as long as it takes for me to make one of those because it's a lot of detail to put into him and load god dang it thank you and it just it takes forever to, to do one like his size now i'm my my goal for my wool sculptures is to make a where is he groudon and then from there, I'm going to work my way up to something like, um, that. Whatever that is. I forgot what it's called. It's a, um, oh, I forgot the name, freaking name of it. But then that one looks like, looks really complicated as well. Pre pretty much the, the Sinnoh ones are going to be my biggest challenges. But I will try to do them. And if I fail, so be it. Um, these don't look too hard. I may do those too. But anyway. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Um, I haven't done a video in a while. 
Um, I do have my new Roxio game capture, and I do have an episode of Halo 2 Let's Play um, recorded. I just don't. I just don't have the patience to edit it quite yet. Shut up, sheep. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.